Well, grew up in Puyallup. I'm the son, grandson, and great grandson of Puyallup teachers. Graduated from Puyallup High School, and then I went off to college in Michigan, a little liberal arts college called Hillsdale College. Then I did my master's degree at Pepperdine University in California. I was kind of keeping uh, one foot back home during the summer times and the like to stay involved in some things in the community and and uh, had this thought that I might be interested in public service at some point. I started a PhD in political science, but was getting antsy, and I thought I might want to go home and run for run for the legislature. So I, I went door to door to ask people for their votes and uh, ended up winning that first election by 29 votes out of 52,000 cast. So every vote matters. <laughs>
I, I think it's unlikely that we're going to see a lot of uh, new tax exemptions here in the in the near future. But this is something that we ought to we ought to really be exploring. Sure. Well, I think you know I think when I mentioned that partisan divide, I think one of the things that makes me optimistic is that both parties are working together. You know, there are disputes about issues, but I think the dynamic right between the House and the Senate, you've got 74 uh, uh, Republicans and 73 Democrats. And that means that everybody matters. Everybody has to talk to one another. Everybody has to work together on issues. And um, and I think that, that that's good for business. I mean, I think it means that um, everybody has to listen to the voice of retailers and small businesses and those who are creating jobs in our economy. And um, and I think that adds a layer of protection. It, it doesn't mean that we can take anything for granted, though. It means that uh, retailers and small business owners need to be vigilant in coming to Olympia, expressing themselves to their legislators, and engaging in this dialogue we call the legislative process.